set an example. You set an example, black man, Latino man, Native American Indian man, by not getting high. That's how you set an example. That's how God, that's how God is proud of you. God is proud of you when we are not getting high. God is proud of us when we do not worship false gods. If you are if you are black or Latino, Native American Indian, what the hell are you doing celebrating Thanksgiving? When 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 that was when the Caucasians killed Native American Indians, mass murder, man. You are black and Latino, Native American Indian, and you are getting ready to celebrate Thanksgiving. You must be an idiot. You celebrated you celebrated Halloween yesterday when there were so many pedophiles out in Halloween yesterday. Think about it. It's a field day for pedophiles. Children are out begging for candy, be begging for candy, candy, laughing, bobbing for apples, and some pedophile is getting hard. Some pedophile is getting turned on. You are an idiot in America's in, in living in America, man. You must be a fool. Go ahead, read it again. <laughs> Let your light so shine before men. Let your light shine. If we if we want our little children today who are five, six, seven years old and nine years old and the next generation shine, we must set an example. We, 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 we must not break, and simply, we must not break God's laws, man. Do not break God's laws in front of our children and our children will know the right way to go, man. If you, if we, if, if today, if you are a grown woman dressing up as a kitty cat, or as a witch, or as some devil, your child is gonna to wanna to dress up and put on tights, and she's gonna to wanna to be a sexy cat. Your, your child, you, you 20 and 30 and 40 years old, dressing, dressing like a sexy cat yesterday, and now your six-year-old daughter is gonna to wanna to be sexy just like you. And she's gonna lose her virginity at the age of, age of 11, and you are gonna cry. You're gonna cry when your daughter is touched and molested and raped, but guess what, woman? Guess what, Father? It's your fault because you come too comfortable in evil America, man. It's your damn fault, man. If you, if we want, if we, if we are going to save the next generation, we have to be the last sinners, black man. Yeah, look, I didn't got high before. I didn't commit a sin, and so have you. But we got children who have not gotten there yet. And how are we going to save them if we continue to let them do the same things that we are doing? It ain't going to work. What we're gonna do is continue to, continue to have a continual evil cycle, man. And we gotta stop that cycle, man. Where you at? Go ahead, Ecclesiasticus, what you got, six and 12? Go ahead, chapter 26, verse 12. We gonna get the light, you got it, Barack? Go ahead. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, verse 12. She will open Verse 12. And this is what happens when we let our women, when we let our daughters be raised up like whores. This is what happens. Go ahead, read on. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. Our women will open their mouth like a thirsty traveler. You understand that, right? You understand a woman that opens her mouth like she's thirsty to every man. That's, that is what our women are doing today. Read it again, our women are doing what? Come verse 12. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink up every water near her. And she gonna drink off every water that's near her. Black man, you carrying around water. And because, of, and because of our daughters have been influenced by evil America, our daughters are drinking off every man's water. It's disgusting, man. Read on. By every hedge will she sit down. And by every hedge she gonna sit down. She gonna, she gonna go back, every, she gonna go around everywhere. She here in DC, you gonna find her in Southeast, Northeast, uh, Southwest and Northwest. She gonna be around everybody hood, around everybody way, because everybody, she, she's gonna be drinking everybody's water in DC. Every man's water. Her mouth is gonna be wide open, man, because she had been influenced by this horror culture in America. Read on. And open her quiver against every arrow. And what is a quiver? A quiver is something that you hold your arrows in. You know, back in the day, that you, you know that you know that that, that cylinder, le uh, that cylinder leather that held that hold the arrows, right? And what, what did God say? Read. And open a quiver against every arrow 
against every arrow. Who has an arrow? Black man, you got it. You walking around with an arrow. If you are a man, you have an arrow. And it says this about she's gonna do what? Open her quiver. And she's gonna open up that quiver to what? Against every arrow. Against every arrow, man. That 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 was the that that is how that that's how we failed, man. We failed just like that. We failed. We we have failed because our daughters have become whores. Our daughters are not not allowed to be are not allowed to be whores. Our daughters are not allowed to do these whore these whore things and be like Marilyn Monroe and Pink and all and um Katy Perry and all those other Caucasian whores. Our daughters are not allowed to be like that, man. Not at all. But because we are influenced by them, now our daughters are the biggest whores. Now, now, white women used to be the biggest whores. But now, our, now our beautiful women like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and all those other women, now, now they have been trained, now they've been changed to whores, man. It's ridiculous, man. Where you at? Read on. Read on. Verse 13. The grace of a wife the light of her husband. And her discretion will fatten his bones. Her what? What, what, what is going to make a black man happy? If his wife does what? Her what? Her discretion. Her what? Will fatten his bones. Her discretion will fatten his bones. Meaning what? How, how, secret, how secret she is. How your wife keeps herself a secret, man. How she's not open to every other man and to open to everybody else. If you want to make your wife happy, the Bible says what? This, and her discretion will fatten his bones. It's so, listen, there's some men out here who got good women, and these women are loyal to them, and they don't have sex with no other man. There's some women out here that's loyal and help their men out. There's some other women out here who are disgusting and they are not loyal. And they are just using that man, using one man because he has shelter because he has shelter. They using the other man because he have a car. They with the other man because he got some flat clothes. They said they they, they tell me to they, they they are gossiping with that girlfriend saying, man, I don't know which one to choose, girl. This one got a car, but this one got a house. But I like this one better because he looks better. And he got and he got better looking, he has better clothes. Black man, you don't want to go through that hell. You go, to, you go to that hell and that trouble. You either going to commit suicide or you will become very hostile. Or you will become a murderer, man. Go ahead. Cut it gun. Verse 13. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. A what? A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And that's what you're supposed to be teaching your daughter. If you have a black man, a black woman, you got a daughter. You're supposed to teach your daughter how to be a silent, loving woman, man. Not to be some, not, not she watching you be a loud mouth dog. And you know what a female dog is, and now she's a, she's a little pup, 12 years old, eight years old, and she barking, and she watching you bark as you older. And, that, and now when she, become, when she becomes a grown woman, now she barking also. It ain't supposed to be like that. Black woman, Latina woman, teach your daughter like this, go ahead. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. And then it, read from the, read the, read from the silent part and read down. Go ahead. Verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. 